Problem number two. This year, 15 out of 75 math classes were canceled. The last year, 18 out of 78 were canceled. Test the claim that fewer classes were canceled this year. Use alpha equals 0.10. Okay, so the problem starts off saying this year. So this year is our first population, and we can go ahead and start with P1. It's referring, it's being compared to last year. So last year is P2. And we know that H0 can only have equality. Going back and reading the question, it says test the claim that fewer, so we know fewer is less or less than, but be careful how the question's asked. Does it say fewer classes this year or does it say fewer classes last year? But it does say this year. This year is our first population and that's the one that's smaller or less than. So we'll be using less than. So H1 is our claim. Before we can find our test statistic, we need to get a bunch of initial data. So we'll start with this year, and we're told that 15 out of 75. So 15 is given first, and that's our X1. I tend to write N1 first because maybe that's the way questions were given, or I don't know, I think that way. But it's perfectly fine to identify the 15 first. Just be sure you recognize it's X1 and that N1 was the 75. So p hat 1 is to divide those numbers and get 0.2, or 20% of this year's classes. Remember, we don't need q hat. Last year, which was our second population, there were 18 out of 78 classes canceled. So 18 is our x2, 78 is our n2, and p hat 2 is to divide those numbers. In this case, the number keeps going, so remember, we're going to use five digits after the decimal, rounding on that fifth digit. Now I'm ready to find P bar. So if you remember, the first thing you can kind of do is take that first fraction, 15 over 75, and stick it in the first parts of the P bar formula. Take your next fraction of 18 over 78 and stick that into the right side of your P bar formula and you'll end up getting 0.215686, etc., which again will be using five digits. Q bar is the complement of that number, and so Q bar will be 0.78431. Now we're ready to find the test statistic after you're thoroughly exhausted. Okay, so the formula starts off Z equals P hat 1, so 0.2, minus p hat 2, which remember we're using the five digit value for p hat 2, and then we subtract p1 and p2, but that always subtracts to zero. So now I've got the square root of p bar 1 times, I keep saying 1, p bar times q bar. So the 0.21569 times the Q bar of 0.78431. Now remember, this is divided by N1, so divided by 75. And then this formula is plus, even though it's minus in the numerator. And the numerator for the second fraction is the same, since it's still P bar times Q bar. But now we divide by N2 of 78 and entering that whole thing in your calculator, which feels like it's going to take forever. And remember, do not use parentheses inside the square root. You can just take the square root of the 0.2 blah 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 times 0.78 divided by 75 plus 0.215 blah 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 times 0.78 blah 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 divided by 78. That whole denominator square root can be done without any parentheses. You should get negative 0.46259, etc. Rounding two places after the decimal will give me negative 0.46. Now I'm on to the p value. So we always start with the test statistic. Our test statistic is z equals negative 0.46. Sometimes I write ts, but you know technically it's a z score that you just found. So we go to the edge of the z table and row negative 0.4 under column 0.06, 
gives us 0.3228. Remember, that equals area to the left, but since we have a negative test statistic, we want the area to the left, so we're going to use that number. The p-value is the area to your closest edge, and a negative test statistic is on the left side, so area to the left is the closest edge. Also, we had a left tail test, so it's only a one tail test, and we will not double the number we just found. Therefore, our p-value is 0.3228, and now we need to decide whether we reject H0 or fail to reject H0. So if you come down here to the bottom left corner of my notes, if the p-value is less than alpha, reject. I'm just writing R. So 0.3228, is it less than alpha? Up above, instead of using the phrase significance level, they actually write use alpha equals 0.10. And so we're deciding, is that number less? If you need to, put zeros on the end of your significance level to get a four-digit number. That helps you. Is it less? No. So we do not reject. Therefore, we would reply, fail to reject H0. Our claim is H1. We fail to reject H0. So our concluding sentence begins, there is not sufficient sample evidence to support the claim that, and going up above, remember it says, test the claim that fewer classes were canceled this year. So fewer classes were canceled this year. You could say then last year to be a more complete picture, but I'm fine if you guys just take it how it was asked.